Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Corey McFerrin. And I'm Natalie Bomke. And tonight for Don Hasbrook, architect Helmut John was responsible for buildings from Naperville to Glen Ellen to Michigan City mm -hmm. to Chicago. Nate Rogers is here with details on his tragic death and life of work. That's right, guys. Mayor Lightfoot on Twitter today saying Helmut Jan's architectural footprint will be felt and seen across the globe and for generations to come. Those that knew Jan well could not agree more. This 40-story office building at 55 West Monroe, another high-rise at 120 North LaSalle, also the historic Thompson Center. They're all the designs of Helmut Jan. He had this a uh, great Germanic accent and, and then talk very low, uh, and um, but never wasted a word. IIT professor Lee Bay knew Jan for 25 years. He took this photo when the architect displayed his model of the chiller plant in 2010. Today, the building generates chilled water and steam for the University of Chicago campus. You can look straight through and see the you know you know pipes and stairways and the mechanisms of the building it looks kind of steampunk it looks kind of futuristic at the same time the 81 year old died saturday near his home in kane county police say he was struck by two vehicles after going through a stop sign while riding his bike on old la fox road the prominent architect died at the scene he was a great chicago architect and that's not he was born in germany uh, he belongs to us. Jan migrated to Chicago in 1966, his buildings receiving numerous design awards. His creations include the Sony Center in Berlin, the beautiful Veer Towers in Vegas, also the United Airlines Terminal at O'Hare Airport. And, um, and that, that and, and the meticulous care of building materials, uh, you know, using glass, using structural elements in a way to create buildings that were not only iconic, uh, but but did things structurally. They held themselves up in ways that were unique as well. Now, Jan's latest projects included a high-rise condo um, project that's located at 1000 South Michigan. Development there was halted as a result of the pandemic. We're live at the Thompson Center. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 News. All right.